one question I want you to answer honestly today is this. Are you wealthy? Do you think you have what it takes to live this life without begging, without struggling, without borrowing? Do you think that where you are financially speaking today is where the Lord wants you to be? If not, then let's go on together in this special event. For I know for sure that something will happen in your life that will move you from your comfort zone to where God has prepared for you. When I look at Christians, I feel aggrieved that we are contented with nothing. When I look at the way Christians carry themselves, I weep. Why? Because even though we are not anywhere near where God prepared for us to be financially, most of us are satisfied with absolutely nothing. I want you to follow me as I read a few scriptures before we go into prayers today. First scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter number 8 and verse 9. 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 9. Hear what he says. Know ye the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ for your sake and for my sake. Even though Christ was super rich, yet he became poor. He allowed himself to be made poor. Why? So that all of his words can be credited into your account. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. For your sakes, even though he was rich, yet he was made poor, that ye might be made rich. We are told it is the blessing of God that makes rich, not the labors and efforts of man. Nahadakala. It is the blessings of God that makes a man rich and adds no sorrow. Are you rich? Are you rich? There is no human being that can be rich by his labor. Not one person. Not one person. You can never be rich because of your labor. I would like to read this simple scripture again for you. Proverbs chapter number 24 and verse 3. Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 3. I want to lay a foundation before you go to prayers. Proverbs sorry, chapter 23 and verse 4. Verse 23, chapter 24 verse 3 says, Through wisdom is an house builded. And by understanding, it is established. He says, verse 4, And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all pleasant riches. It is true knowledge, scriptural knowledge, not knowledge acquired from schools. They are poor professors. They are poor doctors. They are poor lawyers. They are poor engineers. They are poor philosophers. You can never get rich because you went to school. You can make small money to feed yourself, maybe your family, if God helps you. But you can never make money to say you are rich. No. Wealth is given by God. And today is my my goal to show you what you need to be rich and i will leave you with a choice to decide whether you want to be poor or rich 
Proverbs 23 and verse 4. He says, Labor not to be rich. Seize from your own wisdom. Your wisdom, what you know, what you can engage based on your training or learning can never give you what you need to be rich in this life. Seize from your wisdom. The wisdom of this world comes to naught until God empowers you for wealth, you will die a pauper. Until God empowers you with wealth, you will die a pauper. At best, you will struggle to feed yourself until you die. Unless the Lord builds the house, builds your financial capacity, builds your wealth for you, they, they labor in vain that try to build, that try to build a storehouse wealth or prosperity or riches. Except the Lord watches over a city, they, they that try to keep watch will wait in vain. It is a vain thing, an unprofitable task for you to wake up early and you go to work and labor till late in the night toiling to eat the bread of sorrow. That is all you stand to gain from all of your toil. Israel labored in Egypt for 430 years. All they had was cucumber, watermelon, onion and garlic. That was all they only what to eat. Not one savings. How can you save when you are a civil servant and you can't pay your children's school fees? How can you say, where, where will you, listen, today, I don't care where you are, something will burst into your spirit that will move you from the level and region of the poor to the realm of the wealthy in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at the Bible. Look at the Bible. If you go to 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8, God says, and God is able, that means he has capacity, God has power, God is able to make all grace abound toward you, so that you having all sufficiency in all things may abound unto all good works. This is God's definition of wealth and prosperity. This is what God wants to see happen in your life. It is the Lord thy God that gives you power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which is war unto our fathers of faith as it is this day. Until you are empowered with capacity from God not only to have all sufficiency in all things but also to abound unto every good work you are poor. Think about it. Can you give a million people scholarship today? I mean, without stress. Think about it. Can you feed 50 million hungry people today? Why can't you do it? Is it because it is not in your heart? Is it because you don't know it can be done? The only thing the only reason why you have not done it, why most of us have not done it, is not because we don't know we can do it. Neither is it because we don't want to do it. The only reason is because we don't have what it takes to do it. So are we rich? No. In God's definition of wealth, we are purpose. God has created all things for your sake and for my sake. All the silver, all the gold, they are ours by legal right but because we are babies in understanding the purpose of wealth because we are babies in understanding the reason for prosperity because we are babies concerning the mind of god the will of god and the purpose of god for empowering people with wealth people are struggling with poverty god cannot give you what he knows you can handle 
Bobra Vreka Kuate Sunake Matela Bahaya. Rakato Ediasu Paruka Eneke Tizika Talamba Karato Seke Etukaku Mabutanke Litu Zakia. Every hold of the devil that has left you in poverty, struggling to make ends meet, that hold is broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ, hear the word of the Lord. <laughs> God says, I wish above everything that you, and that, that is you, that means you, you now, you, that you will prosper and be in health only as your soul prospers. Until you know the purpose of a thing, you will abuse that thing when it gets into your hand. Many have received small, small coins because they don't understand God's purpose. They have abused it and they have been begged, stagnated, and they are labored naturally to make sure they eat food every day. If you are in that mold, by the forces of a heaven, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I forcefully pull you out and I push you into where you are to be right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, wealth must change hands. Today I have come to knock into pieces, to dismantle, to dislodge, to destroy, to pull down, to scatter, to burn everything that may have been responsible for your living contentedly in poverty. How long, how long should what God has prepared and kept in store for you be in the hands of the devil? Have you not read it? Have you not heard it? That a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, not for, but to, in your account with God in heaven, is super abundance. In your account that God opened or created for you before ever he allowed you to come to this platform called earth. Is untold wealth, riches, prosperity, and blessing. God has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in the heavenly place in Christ. God has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. What you need to live and be like God here on earth. It has been created. It has been made. It has been put into your account. The reason why we are where we are is only for lack of access and why for the single fact that people are not empowered empowered with the right understanding that they need to gain access to what is theirs all that pertains to life and godliness all you need to live and be godly like god do what is in your heart give to all that i need all you need to build the houses as we are here to do, free of charge, build us and give to people free of charge to live and pay nothing. The money is available. What does it cost us to build mansions and put people into to live free of charge? Nothing but wealth. Today you get more money. You build, you want to cut people's neck off because of rent. You put rent that you know is unethical. You know why? Because of greed and selfishness. I pray for you today. Every force of hell that may have been responsible for your compromise with evil and iniquity, that power is broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18. I would like to read some scripture before we go ahead. It says, But thou shalt remember 
the Lord thy God. First thing to do, remember, remember, many forget. Remember the Lord thy God. For it is the Lord thy God that gives you power to get wealth. It is the Lord thy God that gives you power to get wealth that he might establish his covenant, not your family, but his covenant. So, his covenant, which is war. If God has given you power to live, you have air to breathe, you have life, you have knowledge, you are not insane, you have work to do. All those things came from God. Acts 17.25, seeing that it is God that gives you life and the air to breathe and everything else you have. That's a summary. Everything else you have, he gives to you. As he gives you life and air to breathe, God gives you everything else. Seeing it is God that gives you everything else, God says, remember the Lord thy God. For it is the Lord thy God that gives you power to get wealth. And the reason for you being given power to get wealth is not for you to build houses for yourself only. It's not for you to put money in the bank for unbelievers to borrow and expand the systems of this world run by the devil. No, it is for you to have what you must bring for his covenant to be established. For the word of God to be established. He said God is mindful of his covenant. Because the dark places of the earth are full of the habitations of cruelty. Psalm 74 and verse 20. In Psalm 89 and verse 34, Bible says, The covenant which God has made, He will never break. God says He will not break His covenant, nor alter the word that has gone forth out of His mouth. So, God's word is His covenant He wants established. So, when God gives you wealth, it is because He wants His covenant, His word, to be established. He wants His word to spread. He wants His word to get to the ends of the earth. People who are preaching the gospel must be given all they need. If not, you come and preach. They must be given what God has given to you for the word of God to be taken to everyone everywhere. That is the reason why God empowers people with wealth. If you don't understand this, you are going to be a robber. You are going to take God's money and use it as you like, just like Judas Iscariot. And you are going to end up dead. You are going to behave like the rich fool who gathered so much wealth and stored it in his stores until he died that same day. Died of a heart attack. Died of stroke. Died of just heart busting. Listen, you are not supposed to look for things. Everything should be added to you once you settle down and seek his kingdom first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. For lack of understanding of why wealth, for lack of understanding of why God prospers, for lack of understanding of why God makes people rich, the people of God are living in abject poverty compared to what God has prepared for us. In spite of the little coins in our hands. Listen, God is going to surprise you. I pray for you today that as God formats your mind, gives you a new mindset of wealth and the purpose for wealth, I want you to hear me clearly. God will surprise you with unthinkable wealth in the name of Jesus Christ. In Job 5 and verse 22, God says, At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. There are no devils anywhere that should frighten you. They can come to steal, kill, and destroy, but you are to be preserved. Job was secured. He was using his wealth for God, and God preserved him. Until God allowed the devil, there was not an ought that got lost from all God gave Job. Everything about him was secure. Satan said, have you not built an edge around his life and around all he has? Some of you, you labor and struggle to build a business. One year, at the end of the year, fire outbreak. Everything is consumed. Then you start again from, the, from scratch. God can keep you free from all these evil works of the devil. If you understand the purpose for, for his prosperity and you are willing to adjust yourself to God's will. 
I pray for you today that the requirement to be empowered for wealth, the understanding you need to be free from every form of struggles and for you to be empowered with wealth, that understanding will hit you today in the name of Jesus Christ. In Psalm 34 verse 10, the young lions do lack in their terrain. He says, and they suffer hunger right in the midst of plenty. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing, no matter where they are. In the wilderness, at sea, anywhere, they will never lack anything. He says, I have been young, now I am growing. Psalm 37 and verse 25. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed bearing bread. Never, never, never. God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. Psalm 35 verse 27. In Psalm 84 and verse 11, the Lord is the son in the shield. He will bestow grace and glory. Not one good thing will our God withhold from those that walk uprightly. God says, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be hurt, even as your soul prospers. Why are God's people living, suffering in lack and want? Why? Why are God's people struggling in lack and want? What is the reason? I will quickly deal with this as we go into prayers. Why? Because they love, they love poverty. That's a simple reason. Number one, because God's people, they love poverty. They don't want to be wealthy because the steps they take are steps that lead to poverty. They think lack. They think lack. If I get 100,000, that's enough. If I get 1 million every month, that's enough. Even if you get 100 million every day, it's not enough. If you are making 100 million daily, that is not enough. Now, supposing God says today, feed 10 million people. Feed 10 million people. Can 100 million feed 10 million? No. 10, 10 naira into 10 million is 100 million. It cannot feed people today. But if you have more, you can feed 100 million today and still have enough to do more than that. You can feed everybody in India every day until the day Christ does if you have the money and it's in your heart what I'm trying to show you is that we are not yet there and until you break yourself free from the poverty mentality of being satisfied almost with nothing you are not ready for the world agenda of heaven here on earth God didn't create money for unbelievers to hold but today how many Christians do you see among I mean firebrand tongue-talking Christians who are out to do God's way, like Bill Gates, like Jeff Bezos, like Elon Musk, like Mark Zuckerberg, like Warren Buffett. How many of them are tongue-talking firebrand Christians who can say, I vote 50 billion of my money for the gospel to be preached today? How many of them? Not one. So you see where we are? I pray for you that every hold of poverty over your life be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you must hate lack and want with perfect hatred, you must understand that the labor of the righteous gives them wealth. Say to the righteous, it shall be well with them. God says in Ephesians 4 and verse 28, let him that stole steal no more. <laughs> let him that stole steal no more some people steal by different means steal money steal ideas steal a lot of things from others many people are thieves and thieves shall have their part in the lake that burns with fire let him that stole steal no more rather let him labor doing that which is good don't do a wicked crooked business Selling alcohol to make money is evil. You poison lives. You destroy destinies. You break homes. You devastate people. You make people become thieves. You make people do all forms of immoral acts. For you to sell drugs to make money is evil. Let him that stole steal no more. Rather, let him do that which is good that he may have enough money to give 
to those who are in need. The reason for God empowering you with a job is to make money for you to give to others, not for you to make money to store in your account while others suffer. Until your mind is formatted to know why God prospers, you are not going to have prosperity. You will only live to make money to eat until you die, and your money will be used by others. May that not be your story in the name of Jesus Christ. You must do what is right. Work hard to make money to give. That's all. That's all. The next thing you must know that you need to do to be giving wealth is to give tight. Whether you are a nation, nations must tight. Abraham as a nation tightened. Whether you are a businessman, you must give tight. The tight of the land belongs to the Lord. Leviticus 27, 30 to 32. If you borrow tight, God charges you 20% extra in as interest for taking his tight. If you are supposed to pay 1 million today and you don't pay today, you take 200,000 out of that money. And you pay next time. God demands you to pay 1.2 million. God demands 20% interest for you taking part of his tight and not giving it where you should give it. Leviticus 27, 30 to 32. Go and read it. It is not the will of God for you to take God's money. Tight is the loss. No, it's not your own. Every business done on earth must be tightened. Everyone breathing that is working, whether you will believe on this material, for as long as you are making money from this earth, a tenth of what you make must go to God. If not, God sees you as an armed robber, as a thief, and the curse of the Lord will be upon your life. And God cannot curse you when you prosper. You cannot prosper when you are under God's curse. It's not possible. So, you must give God his tithe first. You must give God his tithe, and you must give tithe faithfully. Faithfully. A faithful ambassador is held. A faithful ambassador we work with the only wise God and know what to do every day. A faithful ambassador we talk about the wealth of the sinner. That is the will of God for you. We are about to pray now. But hear me. Unless you stop robbing God of his tithe, you will remain under the cause of poverty. Because the cause of the Lord is upon the house of the thief. If you are a robber, you are not ready for prosperity. You must give God worthy offerings, acceptable offerings. You must give God bountifully. He that sows sparingly, sowing seed is given. If you sow sparingly, you are going to reap properly. You are going to reap properly. Properly. P A U P E R L Y. Proper. Properly. If you sow sparingly, you are going to reap sparingly or properly. If you sow bountifully, you are going to reap bountifully. That is what God says. You must give God according to the blessing of God given to you. I see people who end up to one million a month go to church and give God offer of one thousand. You are a thief, a big thief. You are struggling with poverty mentality. That is where you are. You earn two hundred thousand. Your offering every month should not be less than forty thousand. You give God at least. 20% of what you earn, then 10% as tight. That is how it should be. Because tight should be smaller than your offering. So you give God 10% tight, you give God at least 20% as seed. It's in the Bible. If you go to chapter 47 of Genesis, when Joseph gave the Egyptians seed to sow, 20% was given to Pharaoh as tight. 20% was given as seed for the field or offering. That is minimum. Then 20% was given to them for their upkeep. 20% for their laborers or staff. Then 20% for the for welfare. That was how they shared it. Now try that now. You are not to give God less than 20% offering. 10% tight, 20% offering. That's the minimum God expects from you. How many are doing that faithfully? You see why people are poor? Now we are going to pray. Na lo shada katala ba. E susi akota ne balida siya. E kratuna kratuna si koneta balida siya. God says, seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. But the hold of poverty 
lack and want, over lies, do not permit them to give as they should give, to invest as they should. And that's why people are suffering. God empowers you with wealth for you to be his partner here on earth. In this deal of extending his kingdom everywhere and establishing it everywhere. But look at where we are right now. Now we are going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for every one of us today. I pray in the name of Jesus that every hold of poverty, keeping your people tied down, Lord, in foolish behavior, be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to declare, I break myself free from every hold of poverty. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break myself free from every hold of poverty. I break myself free right now from every hold of poverty in my mentality. I break myself free, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts themselves against God's knowledge. Cast them down right now. 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 Everything in your mentality that has to do with poverty mentality, cast it down right now. Anything that wants to lift itself above God's knowledge or God's word or God's will, pull them down right now. Pull down everything the enemy has put in your mind to blindfold you. The God of this world has blinded the mind of those that believe not. When you lack faith in God's word to obey God, the enemy takes you as his chief victim. Pull down every blindfolding veil over your mind right now. Put them down in Kapako Kakapa Luka Katakata Kasa Brakoto Prakateke Adapoto Nasikate Loro Tapo Casina de Yadua Loka Preda Jacate Le Pranuka Seta Edo Pede Kata Deno Talika Eduara Pruko de Sita Melika Tobe Letonosia Raka Kababa Roto Proctos of Planotosia Ekia Quacanun de Pocalita Se Ede Practara Silaconia Takula Ponacea Every mentality of poverty I break your hold over my mind over my life every hold of poverty in my mentality I break your hold over my life in the name of Jesus Christ I cast down every stronghold in my mentality stronghold of lack and want stronghold of poverty mentality I cast you down right now I break the hold of the devil he hakota beno kashita lakade para stuke loko branika sute agie pronia sano kate I break the hold of poverty I break the hold of poverty over my life speak in the name of Jesus Christ speak over your life every hold of poverty to take like a pauper that makes you behave like one in stinginess and selfishness break that hold you must understand liberty is the way forward for everyone who must prosper every hold of poverty mentality that causes you to be stingy selfish Ah, ah, kotaban greedy, covetous. Ah, to hold what is not for you but for us. That hold must be broken right now. Haro seda baba, rada bana bada ba, magodo bodo so. E katola badesa, lora tasha kanata. E pete kene sete, loka patale bradia, makota katali badosia, kota jacket o maliba nendosia. E kwa katoka bloko nosia, reka plakene se na kotalia. E go shata la barada, mete polade, stop plakrede, meto plakani skadia. E tia pota funa kulateza, ako tosia. Break yourself loose right now. I break myself loose from every hold of poverty mentality. Right now, I cast down every stronghold of poverty mentality over my mind. I declare my eyes of understanding is open right now. My eyes of understanding is open right now. My eyes of understanding is open right now. I see clearly. In the name of Jesus Christ, I refuse to be a prey to the devil. I refuse to be a victim to poverty. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have decided to be rich. I have made up my mind to be wealthy. And I declare, promise, you must be super wealthy. Oh, you must be super wealthy. Reverend Ambassador Promise Obona, you must be super wealthy. You are going to carry wealth. You are going to carry billions 
trillions of dollars of euro to meet the needs of the poor worldwide, to train the elites worldwide, to solve healthcare problems for the sick worldwide. You are going to pay the bills of people worldwide. The poor will be happy because you were born. In the name of Jesus Christ, promise Obona, you will be super wealthy. In the name of Jesus, the word of God created and kept here on earth is for you. The silver and the gold are for you. The devil is not to collect from you what is yours. You will be super wealthy. I break myself loose from any, any, any place that is not my place in wealth. Settling down in lack and want or contented with nothing. I break myself loose from there. I move myself into God's financial plan. I move myself into God's financial plan. I move myself into God's financial plan. I move myself into God's financial plan by fire, by force. In the name of Jesus Christ, I move myself into God's financial plan plan i force myself into god's financial plan i force myself into god's financial plan i move myself by force into god's financial plan Akotaleba Radadaka Stuaka Hagaba Ekikato to the man who is good before God. He gives wisdom, knowledge, and joy to the sinner. He gives the task to gather money and to keep it. That God will take the money of the sinners and give to the saints. Every money sinners may have gathered for me. I move myself to take over. Wealth must change hands. I position myself to take over. I move myself into where I must collect back all they have. I move myself into God's financial plan right now by force. It says the kingdom of God is preached. Every man present him. I push myself into God's financial plan right now. I move myself into God's financial plan right now, right now, right now. I position myself under God to take over the wealth of the sinners. Ira dadabasha karuta suka beke teste kapodia lakuka de barato stukulia de paratia. I position myself right now in God's plan, in God's will to take over the wealth of the sinner. Arikada bara. I position myself right now to take over the wealth of the sinner. Edira pakada zidi dikatola roto I position myself now to take over the wealth of the sinner. A good man lives an inheritance to his children's children. The wealth of the sinner is kept in store for the righteous. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus right now. The wealth of the sinner is for me. All things are mine. I have come to take over the wealth my father made and kept here for me. I align myself to take over the wealth of the sinner. The sinner. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I remove from my pathway every obstacle to my wealth package. Every obstacle. Ah, Talika Taza Para, a Tosikane against the wealth transfer. I remove them from my pathway. Wealth must change us today. 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 I call into being every wealth transfer program ordained for today. I call them into being. I call into being the transfer of the wealth. I sign, oh God, the billions that Christ 
owned that he gave to my account i sign by the blood of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ every document to effect the word transfer adeta sataya my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. I sign into law the transfer of the words of the sinners into Jesus' mission. Christ ambassador's living mission for this kingdom purpose to spread like fire all over the world for your will to be done on earth as in heaven, not just in this locality, but on earth. It is wealth that is required to establish your covenant. It is prosperity that is the requirement to spread your cities abroad. Your kingdom can only be extended by the level of prosperity we have. Anointing is not enough. Anointing plus your provision is what we need for eruptive exploits in life and ministry all that pertains to life first and all that pertains to godliness you see what pertains to life is money god is anointing we need money and anointing to extend your kingdom all that pertains to life money pertains to life resources pertain to life provisions pertain to life wealth pertains to life riches pertain to life abundance pertain to life we need all that pertains to life first and all that pertains to godliness to extend your kingdom here on earth lord i move myself into your financial plan Of your words here on earth as your ambassador i force my way to where i must recover all the words all the words in the hands of the sinners father i command the release right now i take over the word by fire i take over the word by force right from the days of john the baptist until this present day the prophecy must be fulfilled the kingdom of god suffers violence only the violent can take back their portion by force the word is my portion in the name of jesus i force myself into your financial plan right now right now shaga lay kaka retop stay pray cop teka berete si lobeka atoneda gala prete ni sati e piratos ke te salia abekatoso zuka ke te nabo e piatakosia if a man steals because he's hungry men do not bother so much but if he be found he shall restore sevenfold he shall give up all the substance of his house the devil is the thief oh. he stole our wealth and gave our way to his children to his to his workforce to them i know who the thief is satan hear me hear me well you and your cause i demand right now in the name of jesus christ for the sevenfold of all you have ever stolen from my father's kingdom i sign it into law right now i demand for the sevenfold restoration of every single provision of heaven you stole from my father's kingdom and i demand for the transfer of all in your house into this house into this house into come jesus mission headquarters i demand for the transfer of the wealth of the world 
into the account of this commission. Come, Jesus, mission of us. I command the transfer of the wealth of the world, of the wealth of the sinner, of the wealth that is in the custody of the devil and his children. I command for the transfer of the wealth to the account of calm jesus mission headquarters and i command it to be done right now father thank you for the great transfer thank you for the work akia prato i hear speedy word transfer quick word transfer instant word transfer is effected now in the name of jesus whatsoever you desire what things you desire when you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them i believe i see instantaneous transfer of wealth into the account of this commission right now right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus the wealth of the sinner put together kept preserved in store for us my father i demand for the transfer of the same into the account of calm jesus mission headquarters Thank you, my father. He got a sekia. A poto prakata prekenetosia. A nota lapunasia. You said, Know ye the grace. Oh, of the Lord Jesus. For my sake, though he was rich, he was made poor. To transfer his wealth into my account. Ah, as the ambassador of Christ, as his joint hair, as your son. Oh, as your mouthpiece, as your servant, as your ambassador. Here, right now, everything Christ is entitled to is mine. All things are mine. Oh, all things are mine. Human beings, Paul, Apollos, Peter, the world, life, death, things present, things to come, all are mine. I demand for the transfer of every wealth of the kingdom that you say is mine right now into the account of this commission. Time has come, Father, for us to build houses and put your people to live there free of charge. Time has come for us to build, to build schools and train your children free of charge. Time has come for us to build hospitals and maternity homes and take care of your children free of charge. Time has come for us to have fleet of vehicles and move your people from one place to that free of charge. Time has come for us to duplicate heaven on earth right now. I therefore demand from you the wealth of heaven that you are using in heaven to make every provision free and available for all be given to me to replicate heaven here on earth, to make all things available and free for your people. Father, thank you. Olera paso, 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 skepotosika, le cotasia, eno plakenetazi, agape kotoshi, la cocatabani tazi, e prakra fraternisitamia, lo copra discanatazi, e delicata da baba, jagana pate, lerotosu platere capunia, zocati cata la bonasia, e prete flectanza mutia, roki catosa, e da paradasia, le cochana mataba, rada dodoso, re cata baba, e te pele cunasia, me cota. Laba recoto posh caneta eta plocon sedie maruta se gelacusha geletosia aquata lecota redesta precteno janake eti labo skenetoba la cotesia lecte pranande eno pacusa cota labadi recicato la bona sketolia redaste co stele caradus canetosiba. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. It is done. Thank you. Every robber is crushed. Every force of hell that compels people to do what is wrong, they are crushed. Devourers, destroyers, financial wasters, they are declared crushed. Every evil, unclean bird that comes to prey on your people and on their finances, I banish them back to hell. Right now, I decree financial liberty financial prosperity, financial restoration, financial fortunes, let it be handed over to your saints, to your sons, to your ambassadors. Thank you for filling our treasury with every word of heaven. Thank you for the transfer of the silver and gold of heaven into the vault and treasury of calm. Jesus, mission with us. Thank you for the transfer of your word for just distribution to your people that are in need in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the transfer of the word for us to establish your covenant which you swore unto our fathers as it is today. Thank you for the release of your prosperity for us to spread your cities and kingdom abroad everywhere. Father, I thank you. Oh, thank you. Celebrating your faithfulness, I give you thanks. 
celebrating your goodness and mercy, I give you thanks. Thank you, my Father. Poverty is broken forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone, anywhere that will watch this broadcast, this video, this event, I declare their exit from poverty forever. I declare their eternal release from poverty forever. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, being satisfied with little or nothing has ended today and forevermore. Your people are to carry abundance. Christ said, I am come that you may have life and have abundant resources, super abundance of what you need to live. The best kind of life as God's sons and daughters. We are not here to, to manage. We are here to manage your wealth, not to manage lack. We are here to manage your wealth, to engage your provisions, your super abundance, to bless everyone everywhere, to bless all of India, to remove their, their name from the poorest of nations, to solve the problem of poverty of Nigerians. We are here to manage your resources heavenly way for everyone's need to be met. Therefore, because we know what to do in this permission, thank you for the transfer of the wealth of the hidden to us, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the transfer of the wealth of the hidden to our account for proper management and engagement. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call it on. Hallelujah. Blessed be my Father. Oh, thank you. Mighty God, thank you. It is done. All around, start break on us here. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. When that blood appeared on the scene, Egypt had no choice than to call them and beg them to go and give them all the wealth of Egypt. And so they spoiled the Egyptians. The blood of Jesus Christ is superior to the blood of goats and lambs. I declare by the blood of Jesus that the wealth transfer agenda of heaven be effected right now. This afternoon, this afternoon, let the wealth transfer agenda of heaven be effected for come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every single human being with any wealth that is meant for this commission to be restless right now. Transfers, transfers, at least Shataba, transfers be effected right now from everywhere. You said the wealth of the sea belongs to us, the abundance of the sea shall be converted to us, the wealth of the sea that shall come to us. I will call one nation I do not know, and nations that do not know me will run to me with their wealth, submitting their wealth. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I call it down right now. No power under heaven will be told what is mine. Nobody, no being will be told what is mine. I release what is mine. Anywhere they are, I unchain them. I unchain them. I unchain the world. I command them to fly into where they should be, into the treasury of God. All to glory and praise in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command your people who have understood the reason for wealth and who want to use your wealth to do your will to begin to see uncommon wealth transfers. Sir, wealth must change hands. It is real and it must change hands today. The wealth of the sinner will be wasted if not transferred to the saints. The wealth of the sinner will be wasted if not transferred to the saints. Sinners have no wealth. It is our father's wealth they have stolen that they are using. Father, what is yours will be wasted by these sinners if not transferred to our accounts. I demand for the transferring of this wealth today. I command that it be effected right now. I demand for the effecting of the wealth transfer agenda now let it be put into effect now let the word transfer be executed now let the word transfer be carried out now let the process be completed now in the name of jesus christ every bottle next on the way is cleared off every obstacles on the way they are removed every challenge on the way they are cleared off the word transfer is effected right now. 
The wealth transfer is effected right now. The wealth transfer is effected now from the sinners to us, the saints. From the world to the treasury of Khan, Jesus mission headquarters. From the sinners to Jesus mission headquarters. Khan, Christ's ambassador's living mission. From the wealth of the world to this Khan, I declare so. Let there be the effecting of the wealth transfer agenda right now. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you for the wealth of the sinner. Let up in store for us will not remain in their hands one moment longer. No, I take them back by force. For from the days of John till now, prophecy that may not have been fulfilled, I command them to be fulfilled by fire now. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Oh, Lord, thank you. Ha, ah, thank you. Thank you. Lera Shatava. Be pro flicatos cani brahanisa. Nau kalo me bonda ikinatosia. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the wealth transfer. Wealth must change hands. 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 Jesus was made poor for the wealth of Christ to be mine. The wealth of the sinner has been put together for me to have. The wealth of the world and the wealth of Christ, the wealth of heaven and the wealth of the sinners must come back to me. All power in heaven and on earth, the wealth of heaven, the wealth of this world must come into calm right now. I command this of my father. I effect the wealth transfer right now. I effect the wealth transfer right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I effect the wealth transfer right now. Every knee in heaven, earth, beneath the earth must bow. Every tongue must confess. Everything bows to his name. I effect the word transfer right now. I effect the word transfer right now. Word must change hands. And in Jesus' name, it is declared all. Thank you, Father. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. I know it is done. I know it is done. I know it is done. Know it is done for us here and for you there. From this day, let your testimonies begin to fly in. I'm expecting uncommon testimonies. Whatever you need to do, if anything, for your wealth transfer to be effected, I decree the doors are open for you. Contracts, jobs, supplies, appointments, promotions, anything, businesses, oh, favors, grace, anointing, empowerment, every single thing, ideas, visions, revelations, every single thing you need to be in command of the word for the word transfer to be effected for you. I decree the same deliver to you right now. Supernatural open doors to effect the word transfer is your portion right now. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, thank you. We call it on. I'm expecting your testimony. Send your testimonies right now to 070-33-44-3266. One more time, 070-33-44-3266. I'm expecting your testimony. Hallelujah. It is done. It is done. See you tomorrow, same time, same venue is well with you. God bless you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Peace.